Um, so from, from this presentation and from the previous ones, uh, we would like to move on to actually show what it is that we have that we've heard uh, that uh, for different reasons people like to use, which is our product Dexcel. So for that, I'd like to count on the help of Daniel Luches, who is our product director. Uh, Daniel uh, his, has been with the company forever, I was going to say. He's, <laughs> he just uh, turned five years with the company, uh, which for us is forever. Um, he's, an, uh, he's a nuclear engineer, so we trust the presentation of Dexcel and uh, the capacities to be explosive. <laughs> a warm applause for Daniel. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? What is the pointer? Um, ah, here. Okay. So very, very welcome to Barcelona today, right? Uh, as well for the for the couple of partners that came from 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 Italy, from from England. We are we are so excited to handle this. A first energy management summit here in English. It was it was a challenge for us doing that in English, because you never know how the people that it's from Catalonia, from Barcelona, how they will react to that. But I'm so happy to see you here. Okay, so very welcome to Barcelona. And today I would like to explain your story that links and inspires our team when we think in products such as Dextel. Okay, and this story has many, many things related to our city, to Barcelona. But to do so, we need to go back to 19th century, okay? So let's go 150 years ago, 19th century. Barcelona had more or less that shape here. It was a medieval city, very, very small, surrounded by their own walls. A couple of towns were growing out of the walls. But basically, it was almost impossible to live inside a city. It was so crowded. The streets were very, very narrow down, right? And was so uncomfortable to live there. In addition, at that epoch in time, we had the Industrial Revolution. So in Barcelona, there were growing many, many industries. So more and more people came to live in. So very small piece of terrain, a lot of people, and more people coming. Do you imagine who would be living there? It was horrible. But we have a hero in that story. And it's that man from here, Ildefon Sarda, okay? He was in charge of the new city of Barcelona. He was in charge in to make the plan of the scalability of the city, how the new Barcelona would be. Because so far, the cities that were growing, were growing randomly, right? One, one flat here, one building there, and that became in a non-comfortable way to live. That man here, our hero, thought about people about the customers, and that's the innovation. It's one change that changes it, it all, okay? That's what we do at Dexma. We think in our partners that they need to go day by day, log in inside our software, and start using it. We want to bring them value. That's what he did, and he ended up doing a very smart way to define a city, right? And that's what we have today. Very straightforward streets that it's so comfortable to live, with enough, you have the sun, right? So it's a lovely city to live. That's Barcelona, okay? So Ildefon Sarda basically thought in two things, performance and user experience. And that's what we do here at Dexma as well. So today, I would like to explain you how we develop our software based on user experience and based on performance. For instance, if we have a look at the UX, we have three main values to deliver. The first one is that our platform, our, our child, has to be easy to use and to configure. Otherwise, nobody wants to use your software, right? Then you have to go from a global vision to a local one, okay? We have uh, global projects with hundreds of locations, but we have projects like the British Museum full of meters that you have to go very, very deep. So one platform should have that, uh, that possibility as well. And then the other one, and it's what really differentiates us, is that we think that the platform should be as much open as possible. Open in two terms. The first, 
into the integration term. So you have to be very integrable with everything, no matter where the data comes, as soon as you can hold it. And then uh, open as well in terms of that you can use your own data to create your own applications, right? So you don't have to close to our roadmap. We allow an API and you can connect and use your information to create the couple of features that fulfill the global project, okay? But rather to just talk about that vision, I would like to show it to you in real time. So I'm calling our development director, Guillem Cruminas, to the scenario to help me with the demonstration. Thank you. So now we are we're going to connect in, in live. So we hope that Dexel is up and running. Yes, it seems. <laughs> right? So all the things that I will show you now, it's available for all of you registering in www.dexmatech.com, right? So we are not showing any local demonstration that we have. All, all of this runs right now in real time, okay? We will go for that demonstration to a corporate building account. That's uh, an account that we have more or less 20 different buildings, right? And we will run a couple of an analysis here. For instance, now we can, we can go to the map feature, right? And, and we would see where that buildings are being located. And you will, you will see that in a, at a glance, you can, you can check where are all of them located in your wall, right? So we are targeting an account that has multiple buildings in Spain, in, in Italy as well, in Luxembourg, in the UK, right? So that's a global project, okay? Here, very, very quick, you can check your performance by kilowatt hour by square meter. And that's a, a great way to start having a look which are the top performers or the worst performance. Okay, then we can, we can check as well with the dashboard, right? So we had a great presentation from Bill that he was talking about the dashboards in Dexel. Dashboards in Dexel are really easy to configure and you can narrow down which figures do you want to show to every single customer. And also they can be exported to HTML code so you can post that HTML code in any web page and that will be able for you at any time in real time and always updated as soon as the data gets in, right? <laughs> then, we have as well a couple of other features that allows you to benchmark in a different ways because not everybody wants to see the information in the same way, so Dexel is very open to have different kinds of analysis, always making uh, uh, benchmarkings in a, in a global view, right? We can go maybe now, Guillem, to explain that area from here that area from here is where we have the four main pillars of Dextel. The first one is the dashboard where we have seen many, many things. The second one is where I love to work, right? As an energy manager, it's my playground. It's the analysis section is where we have the data in real time and we can play with that data, okay? Dextel allows you to have many different features, consumption, cost features, whatever. Now Guillaume is performing a global benchmarking, taking out all the 19 buildings for the main consumption for one year, and you see how quick is it. So that's user experience, right? Easy to use, very, very quick, right? This is, this is how we develop things at Dexma. As well, you have the summary tables, really easy to compare versus previous period, same period last year, right? You can add comments even if you want, right? So many, many cap capabilities. And also we have, exactly here is where we add comments, and also everything is it's, it's, it's exportable to Excel, right? So you don't have to work 100% of your time in Dexel. You can also work in Excel by exporting your own information. Now, Ian, for instance, that's a global view, but we, we can move now to, to one particular building, the Luxembourg one you're taking. Yeah. It's because you don't pay uh, taxes or? I try to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. So now, Guillaume, it's taking five different submitters that we have with the global consumption made as a virtual device, right? Dextel allows you to aggregate information virtually, so you don't have to uh, install meters in, in case you can aggregate those, right? So here we are having a look at all of the different floors, okay? And we could make maybe a normalization because you know that marketing is on the third floor and the developers are, are, are in the second floor. So I would like to compare who, who consumes the most. 
right? So Guillem have, have, have gone and clicked to the surface ratio, and Dexel instantaneously almost, it's dividing your consumption by the surface that you have configured for, for that particular device, right? So we see that the second floor, in fact, marketing during last week was, was the worst consumer. And, and you can check which is the pie chart, right? So marketing is consuming the most. Oh man, maybe it's because they were preparing the, the, the event. I don't know. <laughs> so now, but for instance, if, if we want to allow, if, if we want to check how much the developers consumes in, in, in electricity, we, we can go to the cost uh, section of Dextel, select which date range so far this year, right? Okay. So we will see if you get the, the, the numbers or not this year. We, we check which frequency we won't use, and we are loading right now early frequency for almost one year, right? And it takes because it takes the time to plot the chart. So now Dexel has the information, but your browser has to plot it. But it's really, really quick, right? So you can narrow down and, and check which hours, at what time you were consuming what value, and how much cost it, it, it took to you. So in fact, then we have the summary table at the bottom of the page. And it says that the total cost for my developers during this year was 71,000 euros. Come on, Guillaume. How many hours do you work? Well, we, we do great things. OK. <laughs> it's fine. Then uh, we can move to the rep Well, we have many, many different uh, features to show it here. But now we have not that much time to explain to you. So we can move to the report area. And here is where our partners generate the reports that then send to the, to the end customers, right? So it's a matter of communicating how, 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 how good you are performing, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you can check or select which ones do you, do you want to run, or you can create your own reports based on the charts that you are, you, you are configuring into the Excel Energy Manager, OK? Now, Guillaume, you can take one of the reports, for instance, that weekly pro report, just to have a quick look at how it looks like. OK, so here it is. That's, a, that's a one of the general reports. And it says to you which are the four uh, weeks maximum deviations, the top four deviations above the main, of, of the average, sorry. right? And it gives you some indicators regarding which is your passive consumption during the whole week and how much it cost and if it was increasing or not versus last week, right? So this is bringing value to people, OK? In, instead of just having the data in a raw way, we, we as well help you to, to define that value and bring the value to the, to the customer. And then as well, you have the alerts. That is a good part as well, because it's where Dexel works for you, right? So you, once you have, the, the, when you have done all the an, analysis with the curves of your building, you just need to set up a couple of alerts and then you can, you can constantly check if that goes, goes correctly or not. Right? So we have many alerts, the threshold, the no data, very important, because when you have sensors in the field, you, you never know if, if they will be sending data always or not, right? So it's very important. The reactive energy alert as well, really important to cut uh, cost, excess, or penalties, right? So it's really, really nice. Then if we go to the open platform term that I talked to you before, we're open for two main items. The first one is that we are almost integrable with anything, OK? So Gary Bar had a problem with, their, with, with, with your BMS, right? And we integrated that BMS. And, and that happens many, many times in many projects. So we have 1,000 customers, and not all the customers use the same hardware. So we have to provide them solutions to integrate your hardware with Dextel. So it's as easy as uh, in integrating. We can integrate that hardware for you, and then you just need to go here and click. It's like a web shop, so you click which one you have, and you click on Next, and you just configure that. Okay, And the data gets instantaneously inside the software. And then we are open as well, because we have another thing that differentiates us. It's the energy apps market. right? So as I told you before, Dexma is very focused into the development of the platform the scalability, the performance, the user experience, then we don't want to go into the features war. Okay, I have a competitor that has that feature. I have a competitor that does this, and you don't do that. Well, we don't do that because we rely into the scalability and the robustness of our platform. If it's a matter of features, 
you can do that features as well. Because we provide an API, open API, that you can get information. And then once you publish your own application, the end user just needs to go there, click and install. We are now installing one application. And it suddenly appears into the an analysis section. For instance, if it's an analysis application, could be a report, could be an alert, could be a dashboard even. OK, so here we have the demand load, which is inst installed right now. And it works. And it seems that it's part of the core, but it's not. In fact, this is an iframe that comes from another external server. In fact, the first application that I show you, and you didn't realize that was the map, it's another application as well. So it's not part of our core product. It's part of our partner's applications. That's the power of Dexel as well. We are so open doing that. Today, we are launching a couple of applications, right? In fact, we are launching four different applications. On then, we have one application that is particularly expected for our Spanish partners, which is the wholesale market, the indexed price, okay? So now, partners of Spain, you can now set prices in Dextel using the pool tariffs, okay? It's there, but not as a core, it's an application, why? Because then would be different utilities selling the prices in a, in a different manner. So even more than just creating the application, we have published this code on a public way, so you can take that code and create your own application, okay? Based on the knowledge that we have so far. So we are opening the wholesale market, not just for Spain, but for whole, whole, uh, for many, many countries, okay? Then we are also launching today the solar self-consumption. How many times my partners ask to me, but Daniel, could we monitor the consumption and the solar generation that I'm doing and calculate kind of self-consumption ratios? So we can have it now. And it's not part of the core, it's part of an external application, okay? So that, for instance, gives you ratios of how, how, how many solar photovoltaic energy are you consuming, and which is your self-consumption ratio if you go to the pi uh, here, right? So you can check how, how many energy did I buy from the grid, how many energy did I produce and I self-consumed, and how much energy I, I produced and I had to give it for free in Spain uh, to, the, to, the, to the utility, okay? <laughs> That's right, but we have it here, right? Applications, application it's, it's the next big thing with, we think, okay? So we've seen many, many things in user experience, how to use the software, right? Again, so we can come back to the presentation because now I would like to explain to you what great things we did regarding the performance during, that, during this year, right? That's where we invest most of our time, having the platform more stable, more scalable, more faster, bigger, right? First, we made the PDF report generation eight times faster than last year. This is a huge amount of savings in time when you try to generate a report, but more, we optimize the alerts process and now they go four times faster. So an, an alert process is something really, really complex. It has to go to many steps and it was a mess, right, DM? So we optimize that process and now they go four times faster. That's really cool. We made that the page loads this year are two times faster than last year. So that means that our users on average spend less than one second moving from one page to the other one. And that's user experience and that's performance as well. That's a lot of saving in time. One of our important KPIs at our company, it's okay, how much data you are handling for your thousands of devices every day, right? If we go back to 2012, we were at the ratio when, when we in fact hold the first summit, if, if you remember, we were at a ratio of 1.5 million, and it seemed that, whoa, the eczema, come on. It was full of data. 2013, we grow up to 5 million, then 11 million. And now, today, we are about 32 million data readings per day. So our database has more than 6 billion data readings. That's a huge amount of energy, uh, amount of data. And you need to host that, right, Guillaume? <laughs> 
So we need to work every day trying to host that information. But our customers, despite they are sending more and more data, they experience four times faster data insertion, right? And how is that possible? Because we implement during last year a huge, massive update of our infrastructure using a technology called Apache Storm, which is a big data event-based technology, okay? Which companies do use that technology? Yahoo, Twitter, Spotify, and now Dexma. That's big data era. So we have to go to big data technology, right? That's how we can deliver that kind of service to our partners. Even more, our users benefit from four real-time backups. Ask there to other companies how many backups they have in real time. Because you will see that maybe none of them have even one. At Dexma, your data is automatically replicated in real time to four different databases. So in case you have a dropdown of one of them, we have three more to restore in real time. But even we have 17 extra backups, uh, is, is historical snapshot backups. Okay? So your data is almost impossible to get lost with our company. And that's a really, really massive improvement as well. So during that, during last year and this year, we've been developing our new API. As I told you before, you don't want to get close with our roadmap, so you want to develop your own applications, right? So you need a really good performance in the API. So we implemented a new API that now it's 10 times faster. And this is performance for the developer, and this is for performance for you that are my users, okay? And that's all in just one platform, Dextel Energy Manager, our, our child at the end of the day, right? But there is one more thing that we've done. If I ask you which was the first software that you used for energy efficiency, admit it. It was Excel, right? How many of you did your first spreadsheets in Excel and tried to generate your own demand loads? It, with Excel, Excel seems to be free, right? So everybody uses Excel, even I use it, Excel, and I currently use Excel, right? We've done our, our calculations, and with our monitoring system, we see that only 15% of our active users export data to Excel. And that's because they don't use Excel, they use Dextel, because the D makes the difference. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.